That's what I'm talking about. Again, this home, it has these huge uh, rooms with the ceiling super tall. This one actually has a lot of stonework, both on the outside and the inside, which I absolutely am in love with. <laughs> but when you do first walk inside this home this is the view that you are greeted with here in the foyer there's a little catwalk up above us great big light fixture with a tray ceiling and then i'll go ahead and turn you around real quick let you check out the front door and the overall foyer kind of two-story foyer got some room for some decorations to make it a little more inviting again nice modern door with these big old glass panes that let in tons and tons of natural light and then just off of that to the left hand side of the front door is the office space and this matches the height of the ceilings here in the foyer which is really nice just gives it another little bit of grandeur you know that feeling of grandeur <laughs> got some big windows right here and then these little wooden blinds I've been showing them off you've probably already seen them uh, maybe you haven't but they kind of open up like this so you can clean the windows this one actually has three sets going all the way up so that's pretty cool and you've got a kind of a dark gray ship lapping accent wall which is really nice and then the glass doors then coming back into the foyer, this is something we haven't been seeing a lot of. It's always been off of the foyer. Well, I take it back. I'm sure you could put a little coat rack in here, but this actually has some fun little built-ins, a little storage room back here. Well, that's cool. A little different. Then from there, it all opens up into this magnificent great room, huge light fixture hanging down right there in the middle, big old windows, and then just a gigantic fireplace. I mean, look how big that thing is. It is huge. Let's see if I can get over here. You've got a stucco mantle, stucco hearth. I like the kind of cutouts up underneath of it. I think the wood, even if it's just for decoration, you know what I mean? It looks really cool. You've got the gas fireplace, but this thing is super wide. And the stone looks real good. And then on this side, you've got a little spot. You could put some uh, shelving, maybe have a built-in put in. And then looking back up to the second floor, the stairs kind of wrap around up there and back over to the catwalk. And then since we're on this side, we'll stick with the flow of the home. Got a little corridor that leads up to the first bedroom. This one actually sits up towards the front of the home. Again, some more nice wooden blinds. And then into its ensuite. So in here, you got a single vanity, vanity light, toilet, and then Kind of like a low profile shower and tub combo, which uh, Partners in Building has, has kind of been like their go-to uh, tub that I've seen in all of them. Then you also have a pocket door right here that separates the bathroom from the walk-in closet. So you got some nice built-ins. You have a shelf right here on top of this one. Some more built-ins back behind us. But yeah, this is uh, this is the last home that I'm filming uh, while we're staying in San Antonio. Now I know we're kind of down in the Houston area, but uh, this is the last one that we're doing. Now this is the single stall garage. And then I'll get you over to the other one in a little bit. It's actually on the opposite side of the home. So that's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, we've, we've seen some pretty nice builders down here. 
And then we have Jen just landed, uh, I think 12 more homes up in the Dallas area. And these things look like castles. So really excited about that. But anyway, coming into the whole master suite, this ensuite is gorgeous. So you've got a single vanity on this side, some nice sconces up above it. And then you have another single vanity. Both of them have a bunch of counter space, like tons of counter space. But then you've got this huge shower and almost like a little infinity tub or something, you know what I mean? Like it can just pour out of there. Maybe, it might, it might not make a mess. <laughs> I don't know if it will or not. But you got a nice tile surround, big little tile shower tray, and then you've got the removable shower head and your normal shower head. And then that window, I mean, that is really bringing in some light. Then into the water closet, and then all the way at the back of the ensuite, I've got to, I got to keep my eyes peeled. All of us do. This thing, uh, <laughs> Partners in Building has had some unique features. If you haven't seen them, you need to go check out the other homes that we've toured from them. Uh, they, every one of them has had something that's just kind of almost hidden in plain sight. You know what I mean? I think this is the, the water main cover. But yeah, one of them had a shoe rack that you kind of slid to the side. And I don't know if it was storage or uh, like a safe room. Another one, um, it had a really cool butler's pantry. But instead of having like the, the doors that open up that look like a cupboard, you know what I mean? These actually look like cabinets and you could pass through things from the butler's pantry into the kitchen, which was, it blew my mind. So that was pretty neat. Anyway, a uh, great big master bedroom. And you kind of got views out into the back patio, little courtyard garden area. Then from here, we'll go ahead and work our way over into the kitchen and dining room space. I love this dining room, kind of separates the living room from the kitchen, but you've got these uh, exposed beams right here kind of give this home a little extra touch of rusticness you know what I mean got some sconces along this wall and two more windows looking out onto the patio and then into the kitchen so great big island there's actually some Looks like storage over here on this side. Yep. Sometimes you just never know. Sometimes it's decorative, like cabinets that don't actually open, you know what I mean? Huge island though. Dishwasher, huge apron sink, looking out into the dining room and the great room. And next to that, Got the trash can drawer. Not soft clothes, but I'm sure that's something that you could upgrade to. And then let's see. You have plenty of cabinets going throughout the kitchen. Actually, it's almost like a, this one is a beige. Last one <laughs> I was calling a beige, but it was more like a cream color. But then you've got this really dark, uh, I wanna say, Maybe it's black, I'm not real sure, for the island. So a little bit different. You got the double ovens right here, a built-in microwave. Then plenty of counter space. And I like this too, this is unique. Most of the time the range hood uh, extends from one side of the cabinets to the other, but here left a little bit of an opening so you can see the Backsplash going all the way up, and then you also have these sconces on either side of the range hood as well. So that's unique. Then all the way at the end, you've got space for the refrigerator. Then back behind us, you've got like a little sitting area. Now this could be maybe a, a morning room. I mean, it could be tons of things, uh, whatever you would want to do with it.
little wine room for after dinner. Then from here, you can access the back patio, which is just a nice little sitting area. Get the grill out here. Put your little fire pit out back in the grass. You got it made. All right, now there's still tons of stuff we gotta get into. Uh, and that is even on this side, like we've got a bunch of stuff over here. This thing just keeps going. So little powder room, nice big vanity, vanity lights, and then the toilet. Then back behind us, I don't think we've toured a home yet that doesn't have a pantry, so <laughs> that's been nice. And they've all been really big, nice sized pantries too. Then into the laundry room. So washer dryer hookups. Plenty of cabinets for storage and counter space for folding. And then back here, I think, you got a little water hookup right here. So you could have a refrigerator or some type of freezer, which has been nice. I've been seeing that in all of their other homes too. Something that you don't see a lot of, you know what I mean? I know everybody's always asking for that type of stuff, especially the freezers, but, or a space for the freezer. I don't really, <laughs> we don't really hear too many people asking for a refrigerator in the laundry room, but you never know. Then up above us, you've got attic access and a little drop zone. Got the, some cabinets up top little cubbies down on the bottom and then this door leads out into the two car garage it's currently set up like a little office area and you would have the garage doors right here uh, as you can see the tracks going into the drywall but really close to like conveniently located uh, to the pantry so you don't have to bring the groceries in real far All right, now from here, we'll go ahead and work our way upstairs. Uh, but just remember, if you do want any more information on this model or partners in building, you can find that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothypeatlivingston.com where you can search not only this home, but all of the homes that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area. You can filter them based off of price, square footage, number of bedrooms, home type, home style so many different things so definitely go check that out that is all 100 percent free now up here at the top of the stairs got a little lofty area a little bonus room space they've got it set up like a little gym right now but i'm sure you could turn this into absolutely whatever you wanted to whatever your heart desired then i think there are two bedrooms up here See what all we got yeah it looks looks that way a little storage closet maybe a little linen closet up here another attic access point up above us and then we'll go ahead and go into this bedroom this one kind of sits over the first garage and up towards the front of the home kind of a fun wall color like a pistachio or something I think that's what you kids call it. <laughs> I don't really know my colors. But anyway, into the ensuite, you got single vanity, the toilet. Back behind us, you got another shower and tub combo with the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And then in the back is the closet. Alrighty then. Well, let's just go into this bedroom. So this bedroom's ensuite actually uh, is a shared ensuite or shared bathroom uh, with a hallway. So if you have some guests over and they're all hanging out upstairs, 
they can still use the bathroom without going into anybody's room. And it's closet. And we'll check out the ensuite. See, so oh, the doors, single vanity, toilet, and then this shower and tub combo, which is uh, pretty much identical to the one we just came out of. All right, let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. Again, if you want any more information on this model or partners in building, you can head over to timothyplivingston.com or you can click that link right there at the top of the description and that'll get you all the information you need. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, my name is Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.